Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Aaron, fantastic to see you at Miami. Always yeah. a fun team to bet. Where's the smart money today? Okay, so I'm getting a little crafty here. We're going okay. Miami in the second quarter, minus two and a half. Who's thinking okay. of that? I had some okay. time on my on my hands this week, clearly. But Miami's been great in the second quarter, okay? I said second quarter, correct right there? Second quarter, minus two and a half. If you take a look at some of these numbers here, points per game, they're averaging 13, which is the best in the league right now. And they're going against a squad that's just not good at putting up points specifically in the second quarter. On top of that, Mac Jones is not suddenly a good quarterback just because sure. they beat the Bills. Let's be honest here, okay? When he had that three-game losing streak before, zero passing touchdowns touchdowns, five interceptions. We're getting a little crafty here, but second quarter play, minus two and a half. More the exception than the rule so far with Mac Jones, so you can't count on that all the time. So from a very good team to a very bad team, how can we make some <laughs> mm, fortune out of Carolina's misfortune this season? Okay, we're looking at Damian Pierce to go over 52 and a half rushing yards. Okay. I know he's been inconsistent. He's been a little bit of up and down, only hit over this mark in two games. But keep in mind, he's playing a Carolina Panthers team that's ranked 31st against the run. They're allowing an average of 144 rushing yards per game. They had the six highest explosive run rate allowed, second highest yards after contact per attempt. And look, this is just one of those games where this is an area that the Texans can exploit the defense. The Panthers have been very, very bad. Much better against the pass than they are against the runs. So we're going Pierce over 52 and a half rushing yards. All right, there you go. You can hammer it. Sometimes the best bets, though, are the ones you don't make. Where are you, Aaron, on the side of caution? Chiefs Broncos. This makes no sense. Oh, really? Okay, the Broncos plus eight and a half. It's now down to plus seven. Why? What's going on there? Are the Chiefs suddenly sure. a bad team because they're on the road? Absolutely not. Patrick Williams is 12 and 0. 12 and 0 against the Denver Broncos in his career. Not to mention the Chiefs have a 16 game win streak, 11 and 5 against the spread in that win streak against this team. It's not adding up. You know when the math's not math? Is? Yeah, math's you know, not you know, math. You know I'm that terrible feeling. at math. I'm terrible at but I understand <laughs> when the math isn't math. In. Maybe it has something to do with Taylor Swift confirmed not going to be there oh, at please. that game. I please, don't know. Please, just, please, please. Just trying to stay culturally 